What's up guys, Robsco here, back with another unboxing and full review of the Karura Membrane Gaming Keyboard from Red Dragon. You're probably familiar with Red Dragon with their $40 mechanical keyboard, but anyways, this is their $25 Death Adder-esque gaming keyboard. On the box, it has all its features labeled, 19 key rollover, multimedia keys, 7 colors for LED backlighting with 4 levels of brightness with static and breathing, interchangeable WASD and arrow keys, windows lock, polling rate changer, braided cable with a gold plated USB. And on the back it also says it has non-removable chiclet keys, but they're actually removable with a flathead screwdriver, but I wouldn't recommend it. Inside the box we have a plastic bag, two foam layers surrounding the keyboard, and a keyboard guide. And here's the keyboard, looking kinda like the Razer Deathstalker's younger cousin or something. As stated on the box, the keyboard sports a nice braided 6 foot red USB cable. On the bottom of the keyboard is pretty standard, 3 rubber feet on the bottom, and this is a nice feature, kickstand feet that open to the side, which means the feet won't close on itself when moving the keyboard back and forth, but they don't have rubber on these kickstand feet though. It also sports an MKBHD red stripe design along with a wrist rest that has a logo that actually lights up. The entire keyboard is made out of a matte black plastic. Although it looks amazing at first, you'll come to realize that this keyboard is an oil magnet. One sweaty finger and your keyboard becomes glossy as hell. As much as it looks cool, this keyboard is only available in the ISO layout, meaning it has the vertical enter button rather than the horizontal one. The interface is pretty simple with num lock, caps lock, and windows lock. It's actually covered with a layer kind of like a matte screen protector so you won't be able to scratch it easily. The keys are pretty flat and easy to press. Since they're so low, activation of the keys is very quick, perfect for people who are high APM users. It's also surprisingly quiet, so quiet it's pretty amazing. And here's a quick sound test. As for the LEDs, they're pretty good. It's all well backlit except for the spacebar which has a long window but the LED is only in the middle. You can easily change the LED colors with the light button, scrolling through 7 different colors. Brightness adjustment is made by pressing function, page up, and page down. If you want to do the breathing effect, press function and the light, and it will start. Speed of breathing is function, minus, and plus, and the fastest speed is pretty fast and the slowest is so slow that you almost don't know if it's breathing or not. To go back to static, you just have to press the light button once again and it'll go back. Windows lock can also be done by function and window, and if you want, you can also swap the WASD keys with the arrow keys by pressing function W. Why you want to do this beats me, but if you want that function, it's there. Lastly, you have the option of two polling rates of the keyboard. To change this, just press function Q. Overall, this keyboard is pretty great. It's good looking, has extremely quiet keys, and is backlit. For only $25, it might be the best basic tier keyboard out there. For the keyboard tiers, check out this video I made. If you're looking for a basic keyboard to step up your computer setup, this is a great choice. Low price with great features. Anyways, thanks for watching this review guys. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next video then. Peace.